Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Schalke career mode. We are now in March 2023. How crazy is that? We're doing well at the moment. We are doing well. We've got the second leg in the Champions League round of 16 against AC Milan coming up soon. First, we will have two games in the Bundesliga, Stuttgart and Mönchengladbach. Now, I believe the current Mönchengladbach manager in real life is going to be becoming the Dortmund manager next season. I think I just read that. Just thought I'd throw that in there. It's kind of interesting. What's his name? Is it Marco Rose or something? Either way, if you remember back to the last episode, which I apologize, it was last Thursday. I didn't have a chance to get a video up on the Friday. Um, we did a really, really good job in that month. We only lost to Bayern. So basically a fully green month bar that game. But of course, that included a huge win against AC Milan in the first leg. So hopefully... We can do well in the second leg and progress into the quarterfinals in our first season. That would be, I think, job well done. I'm not expecting to go further than that. And also, just to update you on the Bundesliga table, guys, Dortmund are leading the way. They've only lost one game this season. 60 points. Unbelievable. Seven ahead of Bayern, 10 ahead of us, but we do have a game in hand. If we beat Stuttgart, we will go second. We will go top uh, not top, go above Bayern on goal difference. Looking at RB Leipzig, Berlin, Hertha Berlin, Frankfurt, they're, they're probably too far behind. I don't think they're going to be able to catch up. So a top three finish in the Bundesliga with hopefully at least a quarterfinal finish in the Champions League. I think that would be a very successful season. And of course, we will decide together if we're going to go ahead and go again for a season four. As I said in the previous episode, I think it was, CDK is going to be starting at Cam a lot more than Draxler now. I think it's time. You know, we compared their stats before. Um, so up against Stuttgart, CDK will start. They are in 10th place, I believe it was. So they're not having a, a fantastic season, Stuttgart, but that's a lot better than maybe people would expect. I know that they are typically, you know, bottom half, something like that. But anyway, Wamangi took her up top, Under on the right, Jollis on the left. It's my first team. It, it doesn't get much better than this, really. We are still the top scoring club. 14 of those goals has been through Wamangi Tuka. That goes to show, although he's our top scorer, we have been sharing the goals around quite a lot. We've scored a lot of goals this season. It is as simple as that. So super happy with our attack this season. Defensively, I think we're going to be better now that Tadebo is in the team. And of course, Gvardio is getting better and better. Next season, we will be going for a left back. So make sure you keep those comments coming in. I've seen lots of recommendations and I'll be checking those out come the end of the season. Whoa, almost lost that with Agu. Give that to Under. CDK is making a run back post. Can we pick him out? Oh, that was almost the perfect start there. We will get the corner in. McKenney's unmarked and he, he heads it straight at the keeper. Okay, we should have scored. Here is Agu again into McKenney to CDK. Wamangi took her back to CDK. The finesse shot just wide. How am I not winning this game already? Stuttgart are very, very lucky that they haven't conceded. That, I thought it went in. I really did. Overlap from Kolasinac. Play that inside. Oh, that's not the pass I was looking for, but it's worked. CDK is inside. No! It got intercepted. And McKenney's taken out. Was that Didavi? I think that's going to be a yellow card regardless. Come on, get a tackle in there. That's McKenney again. Probably going to get a yellow card for that one as well. I mean, that's two yellow card challenges for sure. Down this right side again. But Gavardiol, nicely done. Into Jollis. Can you get around? Nope, we've lost that one again. I wish I took the lead earlier now because all of a sudden, I don't have as much control in this game, but that's going to go out. What a run from Jollis that is. Edge of the box now. No, I couldn't pick him out. I've absolutely ruined that chance. Mate, I'm... I'm I'm really frustrated with myself because we could have easily been winning this game comfortably by now. And instead, it's still nil-nil. Give that to Wamangi Tuka. In behind. Oh, my God. Anton. Has he got 99 pace or something? How did he do that? That's not a foul. Yes. Play on. Here is Wamangi Tuka. Over the top for under, maybe. Oh, CDK can win that. Nope. Honestly, what a frustrating first half. We started so well, and just out of nowhere, we lost control. We need a better second half. I don't know what it is, guys. I'm just feeling like I could get a red with McKenney. So I've brought on Diaby. 
Great sub to bring on. Oh, no. How's he got that? Yeah, I just thought, I'm not risking it. If I get a red card, this game could be over. So, Diaby comes on. And to be fair, the last time we used Diaby, he was probably our man of the match. He came on as a sub. Changed the game completely. Unbelievable player. Here is Gineppo. Cuts back. Kolasinac is just too slow. He's too slow. And I've just made a bad challenge and missed it completely. Well done, Kolasinac. Nope. Still don't get it. Oh, no. Sanson here. Oh, no. Oh, Timo Horn. What a save. I thought that was it. I thought that was in. And I thought we were going to go on to lose this game. Lanzini is coming on now. Head that one out. Oh, for God's sake. There's no one there to grab it. This is not good. This is really not very good. How am I ever going to get up there with Bayern and Dortmund properly if I can't beat Stuttgart at home comfortably, you know? Trying to get a tackle in. I've missed it again. Can't switch to Agu, but it's another save from Horn. Wow. What is going on right now? I can't get the ball. Please, this time, can I just have it? Oh, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. CDK's got it. Nope, and I've lost it. <laughs> Diaby's there, but he's, he's going to miss his challenge. I'm bumping into my own bloody players. There we go. DRB can run away with this. Can we get a pass on to under maybe? Oh my god, he's still going. Into under. Into one man took her. We need to score this. Go on the left side here for Kalasinac. He should get that. Nice. And the cross coming in now. Go on, one man took her. Rebound. Diaby's on the edge of the box. Oh, 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 do I hit this? Yeah, I hit it. Oh my god! DRB is absolutely unreal. Wow. I didn't expect it to go in. This is just ridiculous. He doesn't even need that much of a wind-up. You know what I mean? He doesn't need to run at the ball super quickly to hit this so hard. He just kind of does it standing. It's an incredible strike. What a player DRB is. Right, I'm going to make some changes now. I've got two changes left. I'm going to go with Van Acker. And I was thinking about bringing Ibra in, but we're not going to. I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Draxler. Why not? CDK hasn't been bad, by the way. He's been absolutely fine. But why not make use of a super good player? 84 rated Draxler coming on. Maybe we can get a second goal. Here is Van Acker now. Got on the right side here for under. That has slowed down the attack. What was the point in that? Here's DRB again, though. Back to Under. This is good. This is good. Bit of skill to go inside. Nope. Sanson tracks back. He's done well, to be fair. We will get this corner in, and we will aim for Wamangi Tuka. Go on, you can get on the end of this. Oh, that's yours all day. No, Anton's there again. Win that with Kalasnac. Nice. Here's Gvardiol. Play it on the right for Serdar. Into DRB. Into Wamangi Tuka. Into Kolasinac. I'm going to shoot with his right foot. Why would I do that? Here is Under again. Still looking for this second goal. I might just go for it. With a finesse shot. And it hit Drax. Oh my god, it hit Draxler and almost went in. <laughs> that would have been probably one of the weirdest goals I've scored in FIFA 21. Wamangi took it on the end of the cross again, but it falls for Draxler. God, Gvardiol into Draxler again. And it. there's no way that was getting through. We've won it, though, surely. There we go. Three points. That was crazy. How has there only been one goal in this game? And once again, guys, Diaby has come on and got man of the match. It's ridiculous. He needs to start. I have to get him in the team somehow as a starter. But who do I take out? When I've got McKenney and Serdar, that seems a bit ridiculous to me. And I need to play with a cam, surely. Whatever. We're up into second place. It's a, it's a good thing that we've got so many problems regarding the first team. It means we've got good players everywhere and that is why we're in second place right now. We deserve it. See, look at this. If I compare McKenney and Serdar, look how ridiculous their stats are. It is actually crazy. They're all... Basically, everything's green. Green stats everywhere. I mean, let's not look at the skill attributes for McKenney, but Serdar, it's, it's mental. Both players, absolutely solid. So how do I get Diaby in? I don't know. I honestly don't know. The only other thing I could do maybe is drop the cam and put him into like like a CDM spot. But I, I don't I don't really want to do that. So for this game against Much and Gladback, it makes sense. DRB should be starting for sure. He is still training to convert to a centre mid, by the way. We're we're probably getting close now, especially with him being in such good form. 
Um, what do I want to do? I think I might just go with that. I mean, it's, it's working and I should have a fully fit squad for the AC Milan game regardless. I am quite... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Ibra coming in for Wamangi Tuka. Let's just, just go for it. If you remember back to the Arsenal career mode, I had serious injuries every season, it felt like. And I know I'm just kind of waiting for one. Imagine if it was Wamangi Tuka. So maybe I'm trying to be... Be kind and get on Karma's side and take Wamanga Tuka out just in case. He can come on as a, a second half sub if Ibra is struggling or whatever. But I mean, I, I can do that. I can bring in Ibrahimovic for my top scorer. It, it's pretty remarkable, isn't it? What a pass from Ibra that is. Jollis is always going to get there. Now the cross comes in. Unders there. Oh my God, he, 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 he hit the post and it almost came back to him. Wow, what a start to this game as well. Here is Under. Edge of the box for Serdar. Gonna have to turn. Come on, I need help. Into Ibra. Nope, I couldn't get the pass off. Jeez, we should have scored. Can't believe we didn't. Hang on, we got that. Well done. Yes, nicely done. Here is De Ketelaer. In for Serdar. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. And he scores. That is why I've kept him in. He is definitely a bigger goal threat. Not from set, set pieces, but in, in, in occasions like that, he's, he's more likely to score than McKenney. So that's why Diaby came in for McKenney for this exact reason. And apparently Diaby can score worldies. So there you go. Good start to this game because we actually finished one of the chances. We could be in again here. Kolasinac. Fake shot inside. Here's Serdar again. I've just gone for it. Diaby wasn't able to win it back. And now the counter-attack is on. Canales. Yep, that's a good ball. Come on, Horn. Yes, get in there. You're kidding me. No way he got that. No, 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 no. Oh, they scored it. Oh, Todibo. Oh, my God. I was so sure he had that. I refuse to watch it. That will just annoy me. It's one all. Todibo makes a, just a slight mistake and they're in. Oh, I cannot believe that. Shall I shoot from here? It is Diaby after all. <laughs> Maybe not, Matt. Maybe not. Here's Ibra on the left side here for Jollis. Back to Ibra. No. What was that? That was rubbish. Agu wins it back, though. Here's Under into Ibra. Going to turn into Serdar. Can he finish it for his second of the game? Yes, he can. Assist for Ibra. But it's another goal for Serdar. Wow, what a performance from him. He doesn't score many, but when he does, we do tend to get pretty important goals. To make this 2-1 could be a game changer. And he loves a finesse. That is one of the only goals I score with him where I just finesse it into the right corner. How many times have I done that? Here's Ibra now. Oh, what a turn. Oh my God, what a turn that is. Can he finish it though? I've put it wide. I was sure that was going in. Now that would have been the perfect end to the first half, but it's okay, we're winning the game. And we're looking comfortable, mainly because of this guy. Good tackle from Tadebo there. Play that one forward. Come on, let's have some runners. Oh, God, Ibra held him off nicely. Here is CDK now. What can we do from here? Back to Ibra. In for Under. Go around the defender. Still going here to Ibra. On the left foot. No, I was just about to shoot. That was unlucky. And now we've got three versus two. Get a tackle in as soon as I can. Slow them down. Gvardiol's done so well there. He is so solid. How How is that mine? I'm not even sure how I got that. It must have just come off his ankle. But whatever. Ibra is going to come off now. Great game from him. But I do miss the pace. Absolutely. I'm going to bring in um, Bozdoan at Cam. And I'm also going to throw in... I'm going to rest Agu and bring in Valerie. I don't think people realise how good Agu actually is. He's one of my most important players. He does so well down that right wing. Well, this isn't good. Counter-attack is on. Serdar's trying to get back. I'm going to switch to Gvardiol. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. He, he's done it. Wow. Paulson. Unbelievable finish. I thought I might have just slid in at the right time. Let's have a look. So, watch Gvardiol here. I slid in with him there. Oh, it was close. I mean, Horn, I'm sorry. Why is he Why is he going to ground? Look at this. 
Oh my god. Don't tell me we're going to drop two points because of that. I'm not having it. Come on, let's get another goal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Into under. Oh, it's a bad pass. I think we can make this work, though. Onto that left foot. Into Bozdoan. Oh my god, I've ruined it. I completely ruined it. Wamangi took her. Into Serdar. On his hat trick. Oh. Oh my god. How has he gone with his left there? I, I don't know. Right-footed player. Goes with his left. In a key moment like that, if he hits it with his right, I think that's a goal, potentially. At least it would be on target, I think. We still have time. Come on. He's under. Onto the right side for Valerie. Oh, Wamangi took her. Finish it. No. Finish it. Yes! Serdar gets his hat-trick. Oh, my God. Is that his first one? It must be. That is definitely his first hat-trick. And it could be the winning goal. It has to be. We cannot lose this now. Wamangi Tuka hits the post. It's a lovely ball from Valerie. I'm not sure why the keeper's coming out, to be honest. Not a good idea. But it's another game where Wamangi Tuka isn't scoring, but we're still winning. So <laughs> he's not extending his lead at the top of the top scorers list. But who cares? Honestly, I don't care. As long as we get the three points, stay with Bayern and Dortmund. That is all I'm interested in. Let's see if we can hold on till the end here. Tadebo makes the tackle twice he gets it the second time but it's a foul really I guess I didn't touch the ball so it has to be and now a free kick in the dying seconds of the game what is that luckily it was rubbish Diaby clears it and the referee blows his whistle it's another three points a five goal thriller and Serdar man of the match he'll get a 10 out of 10 rating for that three goals unbelievable midfield performance and now, guys, it is time for the second leg against AC Milan. As you can see, every single player is fully fit. We've timed it perfectly for a little bit of a recovery after those games. I've just noticed De Ketelaire is now over 80 pace. 72 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. That was one of my complaints when we first got him. He wasn't really quick enough, but he's insanely quick now. He feels a lot quicker. I think the fact his agility is much higher now. I would like to see his balance go up a little bit more. But yeah, he's he's just so good. I absolutely love him. Hasn't scored, but uh, has had a big part to play in those last two games. Same with Wamangi Tuka. I mean, he was the one who hit the post for the for the hat trick. So Serdar keeps his spot for sure. Um, I'm just going to go with my first team. We don't need to make any changes. I think Ibra will come on as a second half sub. Maybe we'll swap to two up top and try and get him a goal against his old club again. We've got three away goals. I think it's very obvious. What we need to do in this game, and that is just keep a clean sheet. That is it. A good defensive performance up against a very good AC Milan team. They've got Telemons in there. Ihatarun as well, I believe, was in there. It's a good team, but we are a good team too. Clean sheet, and it's an easy win. I mean, technically, we could concede one. It wouldn't be an issue, but we don't want to do that. We want to get a clean sheet and try and win the game. That's ultimately what I want to do here. Not good. Not good. Oh my god, Belotti. What a nightmare of a player he is to play against. I absolutely can't stand the guy. Right, let's see what they do from this corner. They've gone short. Here is Telemons. Why are they not swinging one in with Telemons? He's an incredible dead ball specialist. Oh no. <sighs> Straight at Horn. Let's give that to Serdar. The man in form. Go on, over the top for under. What a ball. What a pass that is. Of course, the player to watch is Belotti, but how about Wamangi Tuka at the back post? Scores! This might be it. I think that might be enough. Player to watch Belotti. I, I don't think so. I'm afraid not. We have a certain Wamangi Tuka in the team. What a ball from Serdar to set this one up. Unda had the easy job. All he had to do was play it into the box. How about that for a finish as well? Right next to the post. Right. How many goals is that in the uh, Champions League? Let's have a look. Nine. Nine goals in the Champions League. And we're only in the round of 16. <laughs> yeah, he could... He could. I mean, if we, if we got further in this competition, he could easily be up there with some of the best records. Oh, again, just a lovely ball switching the play. What is the keeper doing? Did you see that? He just came flying out. Here's Agu now. Oh, might have done too much there. He's still got it. Cross coming in, but it's going straight to the keeper. I don't know what Donnarumma was doing. Donnarumma literally ran out of his goal and then ran back. He had a moment of madness. Oh, no. 
Get in there to Debo. Oh, thankfully, Hatterin just turned away. He could have ran through there. And that is a good ball. Try and get a tackle in here. Oh, my God. If it goes near Belotti, I am just going to have to two-foot him, aren't I? Oh, my God. CDK. Oh, oh. So close to being another goal there. Here's Kolasinac. To be fair to the guy, he may not be the quickest left back, but he is still pretty good with the ball. You know, his passing and shooting is decent. Here's De Ketelaer. His shooting's decent, and Donnarumma has to save it. We are absolutely on fire right now. Into McKenney. Oh, it's not a good corner. Comes out for Serdar. I'm going to give that back to... Oh, he's offside. Jollis, mate. You need to get back onside there. Quicker. Oh, my God. What a ball. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jeez, that is absolutely ridiculous. That might be one of my favourite goals I've scored. Just... Ugh. The reverse pass to put it in for Agu from um, from under there. And then the first time cross. And then the first time shot as well. Disgusting. That for sure is the tie over. 5-2 on aggregates. AC Milan have been embarrassed. They have been blown away. Two brilliant goals. Now just before the break, AC Milan are going to have maybe an attempt on goal. Maybe. That's a little bit unlucky. Go on, blow the whistle there, ref. I dare you. Blow it there. <laughs> How many minutes are we going to play, bro? They're not exactly looking dangerous there, are they? There we go. The referee blows the whistle. What a first half. I am so, so happy we're winning this comfortably. It's made what could have been a pretty stressful tie pretty much not stressful at all. I'm going to make my changes now. I mean, why not? Why not? I'm bringing Bozdoan in. Serdar is going to come off. He's been that good. I don't, I don't want to use Serdar at this point because... Why risk him getting too tired or picking up an injury? Something like that when we're doing so well. I'm also going to bring in... We'll go with Ibra. Then I'm going to have C uh, CDK play on that right side of central midfield and put Jollis as the cam. How about that? I might give that a go. <laughs> it's a little bit different. CDK playing as a central midfielder, but he's done it before for us. And it does mean we get Ibrahimovic... And Wamangi took her up front. I mean, that is disgusting. What a partnership. Jollis at Cam could be incredible. It's going to be interesting to see how he gets on. Here's Wamangi took her. Oh, I've just ran straight into trouble there. The problem with the 4 1 2 1 2 is I do get forward a lot. And it often leaves just my DM sitting in the middle, as you can see here with McKenney. So it's definitely not structurally as good defensively. But you do get a lot of chances up front. I'm just going to hoof this one up. Go on, Jollis, win that. No. See, look, again, I'm kind of left with just McKenny in the middle there. But it's okay because we're winning 5-2 on aggregate. I can take a risk. You know what? I'm actually going to make another change. Kolasinac is looking very tired. So we'll bring in Valerie, who can easily play on that left side. Unfortunately, the ball was already thrown in. So he's not going to come on straight away. But Agu, again, such a solid right back. Gets it out of play. And the sub can be made. Nice ball up to Wamangi Tuka. Into the captain Ibrahimovic. Over the top for CDK or Wamangi Tuka. I don't think we're going to be able to get that though. The keeper's there. Oh my god. I thought he missed it. I genuinely thought he missed that. Oh, he's off his, he's off his line. Oh no. I, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get a shot away there. Here's the overlap from Valerie. Into Ibra. Flick it up. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I tried to flick it over Martinez. And then maybe try and get a volley away or a half volley. But no, he's having none of that. Into injury time now. Just an extra minute. Valerie can clear this one up. Wait, it was offside? Oh, no, it was just game over. The referee was having none of that. 5-2 on aggregate. What a result that is. We go through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Brilliant. I mean, the change of formation wasn't needed. I didn't need to do that. I took off players that I'm trying to keep fit. So... It worked out in the end. Could have been more. It really could have. I think if I stayed 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3, whatever you want to call my original formation, I reckon we would have scored more. Liverpool have won against Leverkusen there. Does that mean they go through? Yes, it does. So, that's interesting. We've got us, Liverpool, Barcelona on away goals and PSG going through. And we've got, oh, Dortmund. Wow, that was close. They've gone through on penalties against Piemonte Calcio or Juventus. 
Um, we've got Atletico Madrid going through. We've got Spurs going through against Real Madrid on away goals. What a performance at the Bernabeu that must have been. And somehow, Real Sociedad have beaten Bayern. Unbelievable. So in the quarterfinals, I'm going to make a guess. I reckon we're going to get Spurs or PSG. That's what I'm feeling. But imagine if it was Barcelona. Imagine if it was, oh my God, if we get Liverpool. Or even just... Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, oh, any of these. We are the weakest team left in this in this competition, for sure. Us and Real Sociedad, I would say. Normally, I would end the episode here, but because I missed out on Friday, we are going to play an extra game. We have Augsburg away from home. I've made quite a few changes to the lineup for this one. I've actually gone with Van Acker on the right. Diaby comes in. Chananoglu comes in. Who else did I change? I think that might be it. Valerie at right back as well. So Serdar starts. How can I drop him at the moment? Hattrick hero from a few games ago. I thought Chananoglu instead of Kalasinac. Why not? You know, just changing up the team. You've you got to rotate your players in FIFA 21. Otherwise, they lose sharpness and things like that. We're in already. Jollis with his left foot. Bang. 1-0. Five minutes hasn't even been played yet. And we are 1-0 up. What a goal. I don't think Augsburg have barely touched the ball. They took the kickoff after I scored, lost it, and now I'm on the attack again. It's pretty hilarious when that happens. Come on, make a run under. Get him back in here. Try and get inside. Oh, a little bit dodgy. Back to Wamangi Tuka for DRB. You know what time it is. Oh, disappointing. And again, they've just lost it straight away, though. Here's Chananoglu. I'm just going to hit that. Oh, and again, straight at them. But are we going to get the ball back straight away? Oh my god, no! Of course they get the foul, and now they're actually going to get some possession. Well played, Augsburg. It only took you 15 minutes. They're going to score. You're joking me. Oh my god, they scored. It's the first time they've basically been in my half, let alone having a shot. Oh, that is disgraceful from me. Look at this defending. I just ran at them with Gvardiol. Chananoglu stepped in. Oh my god. That is terrible. Okay, and it's his first goal of the season. I can't tell you how many times that happens to me. I concede a goal. It says, first goal in the Bundesliga or the Premier League or whatever it is. Every time it feels like. Why do they turn into better players as soon as they come up against me? It's because I'm bad. I'm bad defensively, clearly. <laughs> CDK, what a ball. Cross coming in now. Wamangitukas there. Nope. No chance for winning that one. And Van Acker couldn't win the header either. But Diaby's there. Misses the tackle. All of a sudden, I can't do anything. What is going on? Oh, the dynamic potential. Uh, not potential. Dynamic difficulty. The momentum shift. It is real right now. Because all of a sudden, I'm playing against Bayern in their prime. That's going to be a corner. No, it's not. It's a goal kick. Okay. I'll let you off this time, EA. Cheeky. Come on then, Van Acker. Show me I should play you ahead of Under. Here we go. This is a good opportunity to get an assist or a goal. Cuts back. Finesse is it. Oh, it was close. Really, really close. The thing is, right, Under is 85 rated. It's ridiculous. I don't see how Van Acker's ever going to get in at this point, but he's such a good player. Go on. <sighs> he is such a good player. It almost went in. That would have been an absolute wonder strike. There you go. DRB with a great tackle. I love the guy. He's so good. Now here's De Ketelaer. Over to Serdar. In for Van Acker. This time, surely. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. He's going to have to go for it with his right foot. Oh, my God. He's blasted it over. He's getting in there, but he's just not finishing it. Although, I can't really have a go at him. That, that shot before where he hit it from, what, 35 yards out, it almost went in from there. But you'd expect him to at least hit the target with that one. And now, I'm in trouble here. Gvardiol's quick, though. He's got back. Try and get a tackle in. Oh, Diaby. <laughs> he used all six foot four of his body there. Serdar has picked out Van Acker again. Come on, this time let's get something from this. Wamangi Tuka is in the box. Oh, do you know what? It is the most overpowered crossing I have ever seen in a FIFA. What is that? What is that? With his right foot as well, I think it was. It's just unreal. There is so much power on the cross. The shot just... It, it transmits all of that power. It's crazy. Look at this. Just smacks it. Oh, 
basically, if that hits the keeper, it will go through him. It will literally make a hole in the goalkeeper's body and go through. But now they're in. Straight from kickoff. It's Vargas. Horn is there. That is a game-winning save. Wow. And now look at this. We could get on the break as well. Here goes Diaby. He's running forward. Into Van Acker. This is ridiculous. I should have conceded and now I could be scoring. Van Acker again with his right foot again. There it is. Oh, what a crazy second half. Unbelievable. Van Acker does his job finally with a, an assist and now a goal. For sure we're winning this game. What a save from Timo Horn. That is honestly as, as big as a goal. And then we've scored from it as well. I've got Mustafi on. I've gone with three at the back just for the, the rest of this game. Because why not? We've got Draxler coming in. Bozdawan. Three very good changes. And look at the space we've got here. It's basically a 5-3-2. De Ketelier has gone up top with Wamangituka. And here he is. Oh, no. Come on. He's tired. De Ketelier has nothing left in him. He's played a lot recently. I was really hoping I could get Wamangituka another goal there. Oh, Draxler almost won it. Just a few minutes left in this game. With this amount of defence. Look at this. I, I just don't see how they're going to be able to score. Well done, Mustafi. Come out, Horn. Honestly, why do I have to hold triangle there or Y there to get him out? He should be coming for that. It's such an easy opportunity to get possession back instead of letting it go out for a corner. But whatever. This game is definitely done now. Maybe one last chance. Go on, Mangi Tuka. Go on. Good first touch. Oh, can he get through the middle? Yes, he can. No, he can't. That's a foul. Roll. What? How is that not a foul? Come on. Oh, well. 3-1. Another victory, guys. And it's a great way to end the episode. Wait, guys. Bayern lost a game or drew a game? Let me double check this. They drew with Hertz of Berlin. Wow. We got lucky there. And they drew with Cologne. So all of a sudden, we are now four points clear of Bayern. We need Dortmund to start losing now. Who have Dortmund got coming up? So they've got Leverkusen. That could be a relatively tough one for them. And then going into April... They've got Hoffenheim, and they've got RB Leipzig. That's good. And they've got Stuttgart. That's going to be a win. Do you know what? When we play them on April the 30th, just imagine if a win there could actually put us top of the league. Could you imagine it? Somehow we're second with six losses. I, I don't know. <laughs> We've managed to get right up there. We're four points behind them, but they do have a game in hand. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you're enjoying it. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't post on Friday. It happens sometimes. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure I try my best, as always, to get one up every single weekday. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed. Check out my stream schedule in my Discord and over on Twitter. It should be live by now. So you can catch me live throughout the week. And I'll see you there.